The social studies curriculum adoption was even more political, if that's possible, than the science adoption. And the separation of church and state is the crux of the battle. And when Mavis Knight introduced her amendment, she didn't even use the word separation of church and state. She used the words that government can't promote or denigrate any faith. And Cynthia Dunbar passionately argued against this. Examine the reasons the Founding Fathers protected religious freedom in America by barring government from promoting or disfavoring any particular religion over all others. Mavis Knight's amendment was too broad and too amorphous. And talking about barring, which speaks of it in a negative light, when how the Founding Fathers viewed it was in terms of jurisdiction, that the civil government did not have the jurisdiction to impede upon the ability of uh, religious exercise. Free exercise came from a sermon by William Cooper where he specifically coined the phrase as to the free exercise of his holy religion. This debate is too broad and one of the things that we keep being hounded by the other side is that the conservatives are trying to inject religion into the teaks. No, we're not. But nor do we want our religious history to be tainted and drawn from a, a, a viewpoint that is not historically accurate. So I cannot support this motion. This will be a recorded vote. All those in favor of the amendment of a new 1C as proposed by Member Knight should vote yes. Opposed to the amendment should vote no. I am stunned that this board rejected teaching students about the First Amendment to the Constitution's protections for religious freedom in this country, and that the government is barred from promoting or disfavoring any religious perspective over all others. That's just shocking, particularly since they've been proclaiming American exceptionalism, and this is one of our nation's founding principles that sets us apart. Father, I ask that you would forgive us for taking prayer out of the schools. Father, when that happened, secular humanism flooded in. Father, it began to penetrate every part of the curriculum. But today, Lord, we reach up into heaven and we say, on this day, your kingdom come, your will be done in public education once again. We draw the line in the sand today and we say no more. Lord, I ask that you would invade our schools, invade our country, invade our homes, invade our churches with your presence, that we would truly be hunger for righteousness and for truth, because truth is not a thing. It is a person, and it is the person of Jesus Christ. And your word tells us that if you be lifted up, you will draw all men unto you. And so God, that's what we do right now. We repent on behalf of our nation, we repent on behalf of ourselves and our families, God, and we lift you up and we want to see you exalted, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.